Batch notes for 5.1 are out and I am a little late to this video. They do come out really early in the morning for me, but I feel like it would be proper anyway to go over them since it's kind of a really big content dump for Final Fantasy 14. I also went to the gym first instead of making this video because hashtag mental health. <laughs> The first thing we see is that Splendorous Tools has gotten their last step, so you can look forward to an entire guide from how to get your Splendorous Tools from step one to the final step. I like to wait until all the steps are out before I make a video. I'm not really a fan of like part one videos, part two videos, part three videos. I like to make full complete guides. We also got another variant dungeon. So I particularly just like variant dungeons because I feel it gives a little bit more to the current environment of that expansion. I don't think they're particularly difficult. Um, I just think it's fun, extra content. I think they give some really good rewards like the noir clothes from the Sildon variant dungeons. Um, other than that though, they're just kind of fun, extra content. You can take it or leave it. Some people really like it. Um, I personally really do, but I know there's a lot of players who actually don't enjoy doing that type of content. So they just kind of leave. We did get a new Gold Saucer event, the Fall Guys collaboration with Final Fantasy XIV. I personally am very excited about this. I love the game Fall Guys. I think it's really fun. It is kind of kitschy and for kiddies, like younger people, but um, as far as I've been told, but I really enjoy it and I play it a lot with my friends. It's just something relaxing to do. So I'm really interested to see how that incorporates into the game and how they could kind of get around the kind of stiff mechanics that Final Fantasy has. So I will be doing some Fall Guy events within my Discord. So if you want to find a Final Fantasy community to hang out, ask questions, join with, then you can find that in my description box down below. Like, look at that outfit. I want that outfit so bad. I'm so excited. Of course, I'm a Viera, so I do not think I'm going to be able to wear that headpiece, which is really annoying that it's 2023 and Vieras do not have headpieces yet. Speaking of, they did get a new hairstyle, which I do actually particularly like. People really like that kind of side braid look and it brings a little bit more to the face. I really feel like variant dungeons bring a lot more to the lore of the game and kind of dive deeper into things or expand on things that we never probably would have gotten explanation for. Like I love the Sildon quests of like kind of that past relic ancient kind of time. So I'm really interested to see what this one's going to expand on. So I love playing Criterion dungeons. I think the reward system is kind of like janky as hell though, because it doesn't really give you anything to further your gameplay. I agree with Xenos on this matter. He put out a video about kind of the gearing systems kind of broken in Final Fantasy 14. If I can find the video, I'll link it down below. But I think he's hit the nail on the head that they really need to update or um, improve upon the item level system because sometimes when new content come out, the gear doesn't matter at all and it's not necessarily great for glamour. So um, I personally like Criterion because it's kind of like a four man savage and sometimes going into eight man savage content is very overwhelming for a lot of people. And that's why I think even if you find a few people to play with, it's just a good personal challenge that doesn't really affect anything and you won't have people mad at you. I wouldn't queue for it though. I don't think that like that high of content should be done without voice chat or at least listening into voice chat. You can do that pretty easily just listening in and you don't actually have to talk, but just needing that like communication and call outs is generally really important and I prefer it. I know a lot of people party find her up with no issues at all. I just personally prefer voice chatting. Like that boss looks really good. It's like a fairy with a gun. <laughs> Like, what the fuck? That's crazy. Like, I'm excited to see what it is and we'll be doing it in my Discord. Um, I'm definitely interested in trying this out because that image alone is so good. I can't wait to see like the actual battle mechanic. We did get some PvP adjustments. I don't really cover these quite too much just because PvP is kind of like its own contained thing. I don't think it's really a highlight of Final Fantasy XIV, which is a bummer because I love PvP and I know a lot of people stay as far away as possible from it, but it does look like Paladin, Ninja, and Sage has some buffs to PvP, nothing that I play. I'm a Black Mage PvP main, always have been, always will be probably, unless they adjust some other job to be just as good. Or maybe the two new jobs coming in, Dawn Trail might 
encourage me to try a different job. The other job is, did they already kind of confirm it? I've been seeing a lot of conflicting stuff. I know we have like a Viper job. We're getting a limited job and a caster job. So I'm interested to see what those jobs are. I love casters and magic users. So I'll probably lean towards that one a little bit. We have a new arena. The new arena looks amazing. Kind of a sand thing. We do have some new glamours. It's not my style, but I think some of these pieces could work really well with some other stuff. I kind of like that jean top and I do like those shoes, but I'm not a fan of those kind of like blousey pants for glamour. I don't know. It's just not my style person. I know people are really creative and I always look on Final Fantasy Eorzea for all sorts of glamour. Look at that mount. That must be from the new variant dungeon because that is the boss. That's pretty awesome. I hope that they expand more on their mounts. My what my want mount is the one like angel wings. I want that to be a mount or like the golden ones we get for fashion accessories. I want those as a mount so bad, so bad. And I'm actually quite happy with this fashion accessory, this new kind of leaf umbrella thing. I think uh, to be able to expand more on RP role playing and glamour, they kind of need to introduce a little bit more of like out of the box stuff, like not just umbrellas, but this like kind of leaf thing. Uh, I love it. I think it's so cool. Other than that, that's all the patch notes. I understand that these kind of videos are not like my usual guide videos, but in the coming weeks and months, I'm going to be expanding upon the type of content I do and how I do it. As you can see, you're seeing my face for like the second or third time. I just really want to get more into you guys knowing me and not just being a faceless voiceover and working on my camera skills. Please be kind. <laughs> it's a work in progress. I'd recently just posted a Paladin 1 through 90 guide and I'm going to go through all of the other jobs as well. So if there's a job particular that you're looking for, please leave a comment down below so I know. Huge thank you to my Bun Patreon supporters and Discord supporters and YouTube supporters, like your monetary donations allow me to make content. Like YouTube view ad revenue is not it. So I really appreciate you guys a lot. If you wanna watch more Final Fantasy YouTube guides and content, then you can click here.